Greetings in Christ, and thank you for joining us today. We begin with our solid salutation and colic for this coming Sunday. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good proceeds, grant us your humble servants, your holy inspiration, that we may set our minds on the things that are right, and by your merciful guiding, accomplish them through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. God's people said, Amen. Today we will read our gospel text for this coming Sunday, the, that text around which the whole of the service is built. Our Matthew 18, verses 1 through 20. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And calling to him a child, he put him in the midst of them and said, Truly I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever receives one such child in my name receives me. But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him, for him to have a great millstone fastened around his neck and to be thrown into the depth of the sea. Woe to the world! of temptations, for temptations to sin. For it is necessary that temptations come, but woe to the one by whom the temptation comes. And if your hand or your foot causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life crippled or lame than with two hands to, or two feet to be thrown into the eternal fire. If your eye causes you to sin, tear it out, throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into the hell fire. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you that the heaven, their angels always see the face of my Father who is in heaven. For the Son of Man came to save the lost. What do you think? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine? on the mountains and go to search in search of one of the who went astray and if he finds it truly i say to you he rejoices over them more than other more than the other 99 that never went astray so it is not is it not the will of the father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish if your brother sins against you go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. But if he does not listen to you, take one of the or two brothers along with you, that every charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, let him be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly I say to you, Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am among them. Wow, a lot in that gospel text today. Uh, we must... Receive the gift of faith as children, humbly recognizing our sinful nature and being thankful to God uh, for the gift of faith, and not being the cause of others to sin. Uh, being thrown into the depth of the millstone around your neck is not a very pretty picture. <clears throat> and the picture of Jesus, God himself, leaving the 99 to go and get the one, presented as if it makes sense that the shepherd would abandon the 99 for the one. Great hyperbole here. Hyperbole that is followed up with the hyperbole of cutting off one's hand and, and uh, or preceded by cutting off one's hand and gouging out one's eye. Clear hyperbole. These drastic opposites are shown to set God as the priority loving neighbor as priority, loving enemy and serving enemy and neighbor as priority in our lives. And to listen, 
And when we find ourselves at odds with each other, to speak the truth and love to each other and seek to reconcile and forgive as Jesus suffered and died to forgive us. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the gift of forgiveness. Help us to receive it in faith and share it with others. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.